Hello everyone, I'm Kylie Sherrill, Tech Services Entomologist with Central Life Sciences. Today I would like to take a few minutes to discuss pasture cattle producers' fly controls options with Altacid IGR through MLS. Today, beef producers must be smart and look for options to increase their bottom line. What would your producers do with 20 more pounds per calf at weaning, 30 more pounds per stalker, or 40 more dollars per cow? And without any additional time or labor, it may seem like a dream, but it is possible when implementing a feed-through fly control program with Altacid IGR. The horn fly has been the number one economic pest for pastured beef producers for decades. In the U.S. alone, beef producers drop $1 billion annually in lost cow productivity and in control cost. Economic threshold or economic impact can happen when horn fly populations reach 200 per cow or 100 per side. In most of the U.S., horn fly populations can build into the thousands per cow when left untreated. It is amazing how a tiny fly can build into populations of thousands and resemble dust clouds around your cattle. Like the picture to the right, we've all seen cattle where there just seems to be a cloud of small flies around them. Here's a visual representation of what differing horn fly populations may look like. From left to right, we decrease our level of control and increase the horn fly population. At below average control, we are over our economic threshold and the flies have begun to impact that cow's performance and our herd's bottom line. Unfortunately, we have all seen herds that resemble our unacceptable control picture to the far right. Those cattle represent an average loss of $40 per head just in lost productivity. Horn flies have a strong association to pasture cattle due to the adults need to feed on blood and lay their eggs in fresh undisturbed manure pats. Horn flies can complete their life cycle from hatching out of the egg to a female laying eggs in an average of 20 days. In certain weather conditions, that number can be cut in half to as little as 10 days. During the summer months, populations build rapidly and each horn fly is taking up to 40 blood meals a day with a painful bite. The blights, blood loss, and flies themselves quickly take a toll on the cattle. Research conducted matched fly populations with impacts to biometrics like heart rate, respiratory rate, water intake, as well as several others. With each additional 100 flies, we see increases across the board. At double our economic threshold, 500 flies per cow, water intake per day has increased nearly 10 liters and heart rate has increased from 77 beats per minute to over 100. Just by being on the cattle, horn flies are causing recognizable stress. When associated with productivity indicators, horn fly populations reduce grazing time and feed efficiency, both impacting average daily gain, I was not joking earlier when I said up to 30 pounds can be recovered on stalkers by implementing fly control. In cow-calf, horn fly populations are still reducing grazing time, which affects the cow's milk production and her calf's weaning weight. An average of 20 pounds per calf can be recovered at weaning by implementing fly control for the cow. If you see cattle bunched, like the picture to the right, they are trying to avoid fly pressure and in doing so are not out grazing, turning grass into pounds of beef. Even when retaining replacement heifers, horn flies are becoming a bigger issue due to transmitting the bacteria that cause mastitis. Mastitis in lactating cattle can be hard to spot and treat, but what about before that heifer has even been put into production? Mastitis research by Dr. Stephen Nickerson showed that herds could have over 75% of their heifers contracting mastitis before breeding. Like a picture to the right, untreated mastitis can be damaging enough that females will never regain the functionality of those affected quarters. A horn fly control program can take many directions. Producers can utilize topical insecticides like sprays, porons, and insecticidal ear tags. However, many producers lack the labor, time, and equipment to frequently bring cattle in from pasture and treat the adult populations effectively. By relying on topical insecticides alone, many producers will also see horn fly insecticidal resistance before the end of the season. By utilizing a feed-through larvicide, Producers can limit their horn fly population before those flies reach reproductive adulthood and the cattle are treated in the pasture. Altaset IGR is a feed-through product offered by Central Life Sciences that is added to a mineral supplement offered to the herd daily and will begin treating the horn fly development site as it's produced. Fresh cattle manure. Altaset IGR works by mimicking the hormone found in flies that signals when it's time to molt into the next life stage. By including Altacid IGR in their mineral program, producers can limit the number of fly larvae that reach adulthood, all for two and a half cents per cow per day. 
Since Altacid IGR is a larvicide, we recommend that producer begin feeding 30 days before their last frost to help treat manure before adults begin to emerge from their overwintering habitat. We also recommend to feed 30 days after the first frost in the fall to help limit the number of larvae that survive to jumpstart the next spring's population. If producers are unable to get the supplement out in time, it's okay. The larvicide will begin working, but the producer will also need to pair Altacid IGR with an adulticide like insecticidal sprays, porons, or ear tags, and combine with other good management practices as part of an integrated pest management plan. Here is a map of the average date of last frost for the United States. Each of the lines represent the average last frost date for that area. Remember, we recommend providing Altacid IGR 30 days prior to the last frost date in order to begin treating the manure before the overwinning hornflies emerge to begin laying eggs. Just like with the last frost, we also recommend 30 days after the first frost in the fall. Each of these lines represent the average first frost date for the United States. We recommend providing Altacid IGR 30 days after to limit the number of hornfly larvae surviving to overwinter and jumpstart your next year's hornfly population. What you do in the fall can impact your success next spring. Altacid IGR is available through many of MLS mineral tubs. Each of the tubs listed can include Altacid IGR to the benefit of your pastured cattle producers. For more information, you can go to the MLS website, www mlstubs.com, or for more information on Altacid IGR, www.altacidigr.com. Thank you for your time.